on the blink. I couldn't get in touch with you yesterday. Yeah. Yeah! It has been a bit temperamental recently oh. still. A couple more weeks, I'm doing upgrade. <laughs> All right, ladies. Hiya. All right. Anyone need a lift? I only work up there. Is he bothering you? Why? What are you going to do? Call the police? I can look after myself, thanks. Yeah. They both can. Oh. Off to you. I'll uh, see you both later. See ya. Didn't fancy that drink, then. Oh, God, Lexi, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. No, how's about we do it tonight? We'll go into town on me, yeah? Oh, yeah. All right, I'll come up at lunch. We can make a plan. I can't do lunch. I'm working through. Oh, uh, well, I'll, I'll come up, keep you company, bring your sandwich. I, I won't even be there. No, you know, it's one of them poncy work lunches when reps try and sell us worming tablets. You're such a liar. Working lunch, being wined and dined on someone else's expense account, I'd hardly call that work. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Was one aware that one's failure to properly observe the laws of the Queen's Highway? No, just, just use your own voice. Uh, don't worry about it. They'll let anybody in the police force these days. They're desperate. Look at it. It's him you want to be worried about. Look at stay to that. You're under a vest. Under a vest. Shut up, fathead. It weren't even funny in the 70s, man. Get that jacket off. Now, do we know what we're doing? Yeah. Eh? We pick a mark, we flash him, then we bell you. OK. I've got it. How much are we charging him? A couple of tonne? Uh, no, you muppet. Eh? You've got to make it seem like something reasonable, like they're getting a good deal. Eh? We don't want any checks, credit cards, we want hard cash. 30 quid each, right? 30 quid, sir, thank you, sir. 30 quid. You see, what you amateurs don't understand is the, the basic workings of a good con. Keep it simple. Uh, Roger that. Uh, I'll bell you when we get in position. Right. Uh, Synchronise your watches. I got ten four, big daddy. <laughs> get it together, you. I don't want anybody messing this oh. up. I can't, I can't do this, me. Look. Oh, come here. Calm down, look. Right. Don't be stop being over. So being rough. And over and under. Oh, gorgeous. New perfume. Don't try and get round me like that. Probably baby sick and bleach. <laughs> Devastating. <laughs> try to get some advice? From these? Hardly. I just can't resist the lure of the free cherry flavoured lip gloss. Have you had it out with Chaz yet? I'm biding my time. Bottling it, you mean? If you're hoping to get your kicks watching a cat fight, I'm sorry to disappoint. Mmm. I'm not sure I'd put my money on winning. I'll leave you to your fantasies. So, if someone could get back to me on this number, I'd be most grateful. Thank you very much. Bye. Problems? You'd think, in this day and age, we've got technology coming out of our ears. It'd be nice if someone just occasionally picked up the phone. That's the trouble, builders. You can't rely on any of them. I'm under strict instructions that the church cannot be used until we've had the roof repaired. I've been able to juggle some things, but there is a limit. I could have a look at it for you if you like. Uh, it cost you, though. Um, I've already arranged for someone to come and have a look at it. I'll tell you what, give me a shout from the turn up. I'll give them the once over and make sure they're not trying to take you for a mug. <laughs> It's where you've got a sixth sense. What are you up to? Fancy a night out? Celebrate your last few days of freedom? I'll be at home doing my homework, Mum. Don't you dare let her catch you smirking. It's the end of her world as she knows it. I'm still in the doghouse then. What do you think? Well, I'm trying to make it up to her. Yeah, well, you've got an uphill struggle. Do you know what she's been like to live with? OK. OK, I'll fix it. Well, go easy on her this time. Try and be a bit more sensitive. Sensitive? <laughs> hey! Hey! 
We're practically doing a public service. How do you work that out? Hmm? Well, anything that makes people more aware of road safety can't be all wrong. I like your logic. <laughs> Hey, have you seen this man? <laughs> hey, dear, give it here. Yes, it's me. Yeah, no, we're all set up here now. Yeah, be ready for the call. Oh, hi, this is Mrs. Kirk. Um, my husband made a reservation for lunch, but scatterbrained that he is, he forgot to tell me where. Could you tell me if it's with you? Yeah, it's Mr. Ross Kirk. Thanks. You're thinking about hitting me, I've got witnesses. Why? What have you done now? Nothing. You wouldn't tell me if you had, would you? See, that's where we've been going wrong. You need to be honest with me, and I need to feel that I can trust you. You're right. <coughs> Whatever. Why don't you take Scarlett out somewhere? Go and have some fun. What? Take her to the pictures, or for a meal or something. I know this little French place she'd like. They treat you right. Keep an eye on you. I'll ring them now. Do you need to, uh, do you need to borrow a tie? <laughs> oh, you do? Oh, that's great. What time is it for? <laughs> yeah, I know. And he's had his phone off all morning. I could throttle him sometimes, I really could. Bye. Come on, my turn. Uh, I thought you said this was a busy road. But, well, we don't want it too busy. Less witnesses, the better. Ooh. Yeah. Pila, yeah, on your toes, lad. A silver Vauxhall. She'll be with you in about two minutes. <laughs> hey! Ooh, hey. <laughs> hey! Hello? 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 Hello, uh, the, the door's open, I hope you don't mind. How is it? Oh, it's not bad as long as I sit still. Uh, I, I'm a bit shy of knocking it. I, I caught it getting into bed last night and nearly blacked out with the pain. I brought you these. Oh, I'm sweet, your guilt. I just thought you'd like them. I've been on the phone all morning, cancelling christenings and uh, sorting stuff out. Well, if you've got things fixed a bit sooner, it might not have come to this. A little bird tells me that uh, you knew those sars were loose and did nothing about it. I can imagine who that was. It's not important you told me. The whole village is talking about it. Please, sir. Madam? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, go on then. Alright, it's lovely. Mm. He's a barrel of laughs. Have to bring him out of us the next time. Used to say there's going to be a next time. Oh, well, let me know if there's not. We'll split the bill. Save me a fortune. <laughs> Come in. Hmm? Hmm. Engine off, sir. My colleagues inform me we have photographic evidence of you speeding, sir. Look, I'm sorry, okay. I thought I saw a sign. I must have got it wrong. You were ten miles over the limit, sir. I drive for a living. I've already got nine points. I can't afford to lose my licence. We should have been more careful. Look, please don't do this to me. I'm not even supposed to be here. My wife thinks I'm in Birmingham. I see. If she finds out I've been lying to her again, well... Do you have £30 to pay the fine, sir? Yeah, I have. Then I'll see what I can do. 
After all, there's no point upsetting the missus if we don't have to. Thank you, officer. You don't know what this means to me. Move along, sir. Consider this a warning. I will. I, I do. Thank you. We're not all the enemy, contrary to popular belief. <sighs> Muppet. Bon appetit. Cheers. Cheers. Don't tell me you're really going to eat that thing. It's like a blooming alien. Have you ever tried it? No. Well, don't knock it. I'll see you in a sec. <clears throat> What's up? We've got company. Well, this all looks very cosy. Step up from worming tablets anyway. I'm really sorry, mate. I should have told you. Yeah, yeah, you should. I mean, him. He's just an idiot man. I expect it of him. I never made you any promises, either of you. Oh, either of us? Yeah. He's been having his cake and eating it. Oh, you come storming in, mouthing off at me. You lied to me. You didn't done the same. You are doing the same. Yes, but I'm not the one sitting here in the middle of the day, half slushed, flipping them out. I'm sorry, Lexi. Are you thirsty? Here, have some of that. <laughs> no! Get out of here! Guys, come on! Get off me! Look, Lex. So sorry about it. Help me! Please, please! Come on, you guys! Yeah, yeah, what's wrong? People are looking! I'm calling the police! Why well, I'm surprised you went anywhere near you, you cheeky cow. Whoa, I'll take that, thank you. PC Kirk, never far from the action, are you? I'm off duty, mate. Does somebody want to tell me what's been going on? They wrecked my beautiful restaurant! They just ruined it! Come here! One at a time. She started it. Right, I never let one thing you That's enough! PC Kirk, an assessment? Both as bad as each other. Come on then, ladies, let's be having you. The pair of you. You go then. Yeah, I'm going. Do you want to move it? Yeah, I am moving it actually. I need my coat. Can I see your documents, please, sir? Were you aware you were travelling well over the designated speed limit for this road, sir? I was doing bang on 60. In a 50 mile an hour zone. But this is a country road. Hmm. I'm sorry, sir. There are signs that say 60. No, you must be mistaken, sir. There's nothing wrong with my eyesight. There's no point getting upset, sir. Well, we're only here to help. Now, <clears throat> there's an on-the-spot fine of £30, or you can wait and end up paying up to 60 but it is your choice. Since when have you been doing on the spot fines? It's a new initiative to encourage drivers like yourself to think about their actions in the here and now. You got any ID? Uh, one moment, please, sir. It's urgent. So, have you got the roof fixed yet, then? Well, yeah, it's all sorted. You're lucky that Alan did it soon. It was an accident. You know as well as I do it could have been avoided. I think you should be very careful with what you're saying, Viv, because Ashley's got a reputation to protect. Yes, well, all I am saying is that he should be more careful. The whole village knows how unsafe that roof has been for ages. Oh, where have you got that from? That's just idle gossip spread from people who don't know what they're talking about. Really? I got it from the horse's mouth yesterday. You were talking to Greg about it. If you've got something to oh, hide, you should be more discreet. You all right? Don't bother, Daz. It's probably just best if we keep ignoring each other. Yeah, about that. Uh, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. You know, outside the village. I've laughed somewhere. That wasn't worth knowing. Never said that. Anyway, I've squared it with Jimmy. How? He's promised to back off. So this date? Is it a date? Well, yeah, I suppose so. And it's sanctioned by the adults? King Kong has given it the thumbs up, if that's what you mean. <laughs> kind of takes half the fun out of it. Only kidding! <laughs> Oh, 
Oi, Lexi. What? I hope you're pleased with yourself. You started it. I wonder who's going to pay for all the damage. Must have been 100 quid's worth of food on that trolley. Still got half it in my hair. Mm, not sure they're going to want it back. He's really full of himself, isn't he? Yeah. I noticed he didn't jump in between us when it all kicked up. <laughs> all my half and no trousers. Yeah, like the rest of them, eh? Oh dear. What station are you with? This. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should give him a call. No, that's that's not necessary. This needs uh, p p p pumping, pumping up. That needs pumping up. Huh? Oh, well, no, hang on a minute. Oh, no. You're only making it worse for yourself, uh, Edward. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hold him down. Right. Oh God. Nice oh, boy. Really oh. sorry about this, sir. Yeah. yeah. It seems like Edward's decided to go and walk about again. Should be using restraints. Uh, rest no, no, let's just get him back to the unit. Oh, no, 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 what the hell's going on? I'm really sorry, sir. It, uh, here, here's my card. You know, if there's any complaints at all, uh, just get in touch with the hospital. <laughs> Go on! They won't lock them up overnight, it's just a couple of hours. You want to pray they'll be locked up for life? Right. Yep, yeah. OK. Feel the force. Oh, they'll see the funny side. You better hope so. He's trying to concentrate! Do you want a stool for your foot? Oh, no, no, I'll be fine. But Betty forces me at home, but I think she likes playing nurse. Ah, I've been looking for you. I want to have a word. I think you said quite enough already, haven't you? Yes, gentlemen. How can I get you? You and your scurrilous gossip. I've got half the village believing I've been neglecting my duties and ignoring problems with the church roof. I think you've got the wrong man there, man. I don't think so. This is a very small village, and we may have our differences, but to badmouth me to all and sundry is irresponsible, to say the um, least. Ashley! Not now, listen Laurel. Listen now, listen. I've just spoken to Viv. She's the one who's spreading rumours about the roof. Hiya. Oh! What are you looking so pleased about? Did I say a word? Guess who I bumped into earlier. Uh, Prince William? Oh, don't be tough. It's better than that. Did you give up? Yes, I give up. Daz. Exciting stuff. And he wants to take me on a date and we're going out tomorrow. Oh, are you now? That is all right, isn't it? Of course it is. As long as you're careful. We're going out for something to eat. How dangerous could it be? Right, I've got to go get ready. I just thought I'd let you know. It's not till tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. So you had a word with Daz then? Oh, yeah. I got really sensitive with him. I think I'd better go home before I do something I regret. No, no, stay. On the house. Oh, thanks. I acted in haste. If you hadn't been chucking your accusations around and given me a minute to speak, you might have heard something useful. No! Oh, crikey. Drinks on you, boys. We should go, go. I can eat standing a pine. Here, make yourself useful for once. I felt I had to defend the church. I, I felt we were under attack. These things can grow out of all proportion. You want to work at who your friends are? Well, you were off dreaming of conspiracy theories, I was taking a look at your roof. It's going to take me a couple of weeks, but I've made a start. Oh, did you? Oh, now that, that is that, very that's, nice. That's very kind. Yes. Look, we all have our off days. If Daniel's anything like our Arthur, he's probably running you to ragged. <laughs> that's no excuse. I'm supposed to give people the benefit of the doubt, not run around accusing them of all sorts. <laughs> Let's just draw a line under it, shall we? Eh? But uh, tell the big man you owes me one. <laughs> We're very grateful, yeah. You know, for a man who knows so much about women, you know nothing about women. There was no malice, no one made any promises. It's just a bit of fun. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, yeah? Yeah, they'll be all right. The mm. modern women, you never know, might even choose to share me. Mm. Perfect. Know what I mean? Sign that for me, please. Is he Kirk not here? He went home hours ago. Mm. 
figures. You bet who's laughing all the way home. This is really smart, isn't it? You know what? I reckon he thinks he's got away with it. <laughs> Can't be that delusional, can it? Easily. No room for a brain without much testosterone sloshing around. Hmm. Really doesn't know what he's let himself in for. You know, I almost feel sorry for him. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Watch again with our 30 day catch up at itv.com slash Emmerdale. Tonight at nine, the dramatic conclusion. Your sister's gone missing, Brian. Good. We wondered if you had any idea where she might be. There's nothing she won't do. So she has got the baby. I'm putting my life on it. It's cold blood.